So here we are walking down to Three Dollar Bridge. Nice day, just a light breeze. Hopefully it stays that way. Uh, the only tracks down are some fresh snowmobile tracks. No human footprints in the snow that I see. A month ago when I walked down here, I was just down around this corner and there were some coyote tracks walking right down the middle of the road. And you could see where had had a little skirmish and caught something. And then a short time later, this giant eagle wing print in the snow where it had attacked the coyote and stole whatever the coyote had. And then two weeks ago, when I was down, along the banks while I was fishing, I saw another spot where a similar thing where you could see coyote tracks uh, going along the bank. And then they had caught something, uh, probably a little mouse it looked like. And then there was a wing print from a small hawk or possibly an owl that had come down and fought the coyote for whatever the coyote caught. So apparently it's not an easy living being a coyote. But as you can see, it's a beautiful, partly overcast day here in the Madison Valley. Here we have some small deer track going right down the road. I've seen quite a few deer tracks and some coyote tracks. It's one of the things I like fishing in the winter is you get to see the, the evidence of all the animals that are around. Where in the summer, you just hardly ever see the tracks. Like right here, something larger was running along. an elk or even a moose uh, like I said I've seen a, a lot of deer tracks a lot of snow is disturbed over on this side a lot more tracks than I've seen the last couple times as far as deer and elk and antelope and here's something that's always exciting to find. Some sort of poop. My guess is probably coyote has a hair in it from eating something. But here we are at the famous $3 bridge, probably the most famous spot on the Madison. In the summer you'll have anywhere from 40 to 50 cars parked here. That's what I like about the winter. It's usually just me. Plus you also have to walk about a half a mile to get down to the bridge in the winter because they close the road. And just to be cliche, I always start right here on this spot just below the river for a couple reasons. One is it's, it's you know, of course an obvious spot, but the other is uh, back in October, I herniated a disc in my back. And by hearing it, I mean totally ruptured the disc between L4 and L5. I haven't had feeling in my big toes since. I've been diligent about my core exercises, going for walks whenever I can. So I've gotten a lot of my strength back, but I still a, a little guarded in my back as far as being unstable. And this spot has a really nice even ground so I can stand here and fish without too much difficulty. And the other thing is there always seems to be fish here. I've got on a couple two and a half millimeter flies. I always try this low water first. Here we go. Ow. Oh. Oh for three today.
There we go, finally dinky one stuck. Now we can talk about important stuff like your favorite toppings on pizza pie. I'm a fan of pepperoni and pineapple, some mushrooms. Nice little rainbow, not on the pizza. There we go. Ask and he shall receive. Little guy getting around these rocks. Net's frozen on my back. So we'll just do it like the good old fashioned days and There's a fish. You can see how I'm manhandling this fish with all this extra core strength I have. There we go, a little nicer fish. This is where the core strength really comes in. Keep the rod down to the side, put some side pressure on it. It's like a nice rainbow. But this is the other part that gets hard when you have that back injury is when you turn, you can't just rotate, you have to actually turn your body so you can keep that back protected which is an old habit to break and fish in. Taking a, a nice 14, 15 inch rainbow. And then the other thing you have to do is you actually have to squat instead of bend to keep the pressure off those vertebrae. Nice hefty, it's a solid rainbow. So we're going to call it a day, head back to Los Angeles, hopefully the bighorn sheep are down along the road, See, the, take a look at them, see if any of the rams are out. So I just pulled up my stuff and stepped up on the bank and here's something that I was talking about. So you can see right here, there's a wing imprint in the snow. And you go over right here, and the hawk or owl had a pretty successful hunt. Then we have a bunch of tracks. You can tell this right here is probably a moose, judging by the size and the shape. It's a pretty good size print. And this is where it was, something was bedding down for a night, pretty good sized animal. And something else is pretty cool. The wind has kind of covered it up a little bit, but you can see someone has walked through this snow and broken this a trail. And then there's various footprints that follow it just because it's easier than crushing through the snow yourself. But there's one in here that looks like a cat track. Little vole just hopping along. Bounce, 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 bounce. 